I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. After drunkenly crashing his car early last Sunday, a Texas man fled the totaled vehicle, leaving behind his prosthetic arm. Police were not concerned about him being dangerous, though, because they knew the man was unarmed. The only woman on death row in Georgia has revealed her last meal request ahead of her impending execution. Kelly Renee Gissendainer, who was sentenced to death in 1998 for orchestrating the murder of her husband Doug, is asked for a long list of food, including cornbread with a side of buttermilk. She also requested two Burger King Whoppers with cheese, two large orders of fries, cherry vanilla ice cream, popcorn, a salad with boiled eggs, tomatoes, bell peppers, onions, carrots, cheese, and Newman's own buttermilk dressing and lemonade. Obviously, her plan is to kill herself before ever making it to the electric chair. According to a poll of young people, kids don't like clowns. Duh! <laughs> Researchers from the University of Sheffield they were examining how to improve the decor of hospital children's wards. They found that all the 250 patients ages between 4 and 16 they quizzed disliked the use of clowns, with even the older ones finding them scary. This story brought to you by the International Institute for Studying the Obvious. Postcards have been arriving at the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale containing more than just drawings. Federal prosecutors say the postcards were laced with a hallucinogenic drug that has similar effects as LSD. They say inmates paid $10 for a tiny piece of a card which they put in their mouths to absorb the drug. Uh, yeah, uh, do, do you guys not know how those cards were smuggled in? Uh, yeah, that'll be, uh, ten dollars. Uh, now give me a second here to get a piece of that postcard out from between my butt cheeks and I'll give it to you. Hugh Jackman got an unusual haircut for the sci-fi film Chappie, and it's said to be one of the worst haircuts in cinematic history. Jackman says of his strange hairstyle, well, the first job I ever had where I met my wife on a TV show, I had a mullet, so it brought back some nice flashbacks. Looking at the pics, though, you'd swear the haircut was an accident when Jackman was wearing his wolverine claws and had an itch on the top of his scalp. New Jersey police say a man stole a pork loin from Sam's Club by stuffing it in his pants and running out the store without paying. The pork was valued at $105. The thief has not been caught. Although, you know, considering where the pork loin's been, would you really want it back now? Also, a pork loin? Dude, if you're gonna do that, you go for beef. Go for the pricey stuff. Speaking of underpants, a Canadian politician is blaming cheap, tight underwear for his sudden departure from Parliament that caused him to miss a vote on anti-terror legislation. Opposition lawmaker Pat Martin admitted to Parliament that he had bought a bunch of men's underwear for half price, which were clearly too small for him making it difficult to sit for any length of time. He apologized for missing the vote amid laughter in the chamber and asked for his vote to be counted. The Speaker of the House of Commons allowed his vote. Man, half price underwear, huh? You know, at least this guy is fiscally responsible. That's your daily dose of weird news. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news anytime, anywhere at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. While you're there, you can also download the free app for Apple or Android, subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, and more. Check it out at dailydoseofweirdnews.com.